What's going on guys? Now I have been getting a lot of questions in the Discord as to how I progressed, how I did once again, and um, how I'm kind of going about beating my stages. In my last guide I did mention it was Sansar, and um, I do want to address the one commenter that left an unsightly comment on the video saying that my guide was kind of irrelevant because I had spent, I didn't spend until after I got Sansar and Seiya over here. I was lucky enough to get Lucian on the first pool, the first discounted pool. Then I got Sansar and Seiya back to back. I did spend, just, I spent to get Zantia. That was the main reason I spent, but um, that wasn't the reason I got to, to level 25. It was because I just kept refreshing stamina. You want to keep refreshing stamina, right? And then from refreshing stamina, you just want to come over to this guy over here, Himith. I'm going to come to Himith. You're going to craft the boots. Where is it? This right here. You're just going to craft this. It costs 80, like I said before. And the recommendation is for you not to be using any of those um, hero boots or hero shoes, is what they're called, until you're doing the Vita Nightmares. Now, that's the method you would use. Um, so the one thing that I don't like with the Vita Nightmares is see this 316 come over here 340 now I don't like that for a number of reasons one you're just missing out on EXP and then two each of the Vita dungeons has a very specific set and then very specific like ascension materials for the characters themselves as well as the materials that you would use to craft the weapons um that's not so much of an issue, but having it net you less EXP is where the issue lies for me. Like it does make sense because of the different levels, you know, there's clearly different levels. So it does make sense. I just wish they would kind of give us an option to like make it level 78 so we can, you know, get that to the same amount as the roots here. But uh, I guess that's just the way that they want it or that's just not something that they've thought too deeply about. It's not really that big of an issue. But if you want to get like the maximum amount of XP gain, you're always going to want to run roots and don't even worry about your sets because once you get to level 35 and start farming legendary sets, you can actually craft yourself some legendary gear. So let me go and show you that real quick. You're going to come back to Himith over here and underneath the synthesized materials, you're going to get synthesized relics. This is not going to pop up until you hit level 35. So don't go back and you know your account saying hey well i don't have that well as you can see there's only legendary gear here you're not going to get legendary gear until your adventure level six or a6 as i like to call it they do have some brand new sets here as well they actually have elemental sets along with like one or two new sets i i don't believe it's actually one or two new sets but yeah the new elemental sets here and to craft these you do indeed need these relics and assist materials here how to obtain one of the ways tower trials as it says or the alternative way and the way that it actually recommends you to do it when you get over here is to go in your inventory over here go to your relics and uh yeah see click this little icon here boom bam boom and it's going to net you those synthesized relics that you need to craft you a legendary relic so the method that i'm going to be using is to just keep farming roots because that's gonna net me the most EXP. And then I'm just gonna keep selling all of my legendary gear, just get rid of all of it and then craft what I want until I kind of like reach a level cap here or until I'm satisfied. Now, most of you probably not, might not wanna do that method and that's perfectly fine. You could do it however you want. I just wanted to get the information out there. Now, the main questions that I've been getting is how am I building my characters? Uh, honestly, I've been putting majority of my units on the set here the center set crit damage and then if you have 60 vita energy remaining after you use a normal skill then you immediately lose an additional 60 after which all your attack is increased by 35 percent for 10 seconds in the last 15 uh well the cooldown is 15 seconds so realistically the cooldown is actually five seconds because while this is active the cooldown is ticking so it's realistically five seconds so if you if done properly you can just kind of keep rotating with minimal difficulty unless you mess it up you just got to make sure that your gauge is always basically empty whenever this procs so that would be a good thing to you know start practicing or at least look out for the other sets that i would say are good this is this is the thing that i would say though 
when starting don't even worry about the sets that you get honestly i would just say when you get to roots just keep farming that last relic set especially if you're trying to rush to 35 so you can get legendary gear just put everybody on center set that's what i would do but see i got my zanti on center set this guy lucian he's not even on a center set he's his relics aren't even leveled up and then as you can see my martel also on the center set well he's kind of on a broken center set i kind of gave him what he needed stat wise so that's what i've done i just looked at all my characters looked at what they scaled in their abilities if it was hp I looked for center set with hp on it just do them on there everybody has a center set now i'm gonna tackle the roots again but i'm going to sell dismantle whatever you'd like to call it get those materials to craft the legendary relics and then whatever set i want i'm just gonna go ahead and start crafting it that way instead of actually farming that individual dungeon the only time i would recommend for you to farm a specific individual dungeon aside from the roots is if you need specific scale upgrade materials because that is what the vita nightmare is for skill materials and it tells you that over here if you click this icon over here let me come back kind of looks like a card here and a gateway it says it right here ascension oh that's the wrong one vita's nightmare hero relics and weapon ascension as well as upgrade skills the weapon ascension one i wouldn't even stress it too much to be honest we're mainly looking for the hero relics and the upgrade skill here the upgrade skill one is huge if you are struggling on gold uh make sure you do very specific skills stuff that scales don't worry too much about the basic attacks just do the the ultimate and the skill is what i would recommend if you're on a uh, gold budget if you're struggling with gold which you really shouldn't be struggling with gold they kind of give an abundance of it left and right i still haven't get ran out on gold but we can't use me as an example because i've spent so the packs that i'm buying are also giving me gold now the sealed prison i'm not touching these right now only because of the fact that i do have the rings and necklaces that you basically essentially get when you're running the story and when you do the side quest anyway it kind of has you run those dungeons so you should already have an abundance of like rings and necklaces by the time you're finished now if you're min maxing yes you can go for it but if you're trying to be like me and unlock the legendaries first so then you can really start farming then don't worry about min maxing until you actually get to level 35 after you get to level 35 then you can do whatever the heck you want right but if you're trying to be like me and rush it then just kind of be scarce with what you're using here another thing that i was asked is why do i use marthel which i found to be actually interesting here because i uh, just to put point blank if you guys aren't reading the skills then damn it literally says here with Marthel, increases damage bonus by 9% whenever he uses his ability. That's a damage amp that, that lasts on the enemy. And then this here, you get an attack speed increase whenever he uses the ultimate and you reduce damage incoming. This lasts even when you swap. So I just use Marthel's ult and his ability for the damage amp. And then I switch back to Sansar and I just start wailing everything. <laughs> and then i have lucian here for healing now i have been seeing some people say they use um nyan over lucian for healing i've leveled up both as you can see here now nyan's ultimate is incredible for healing however it does take way too long to get up versus lucian lucian he's kind of like every time i rotate to him his ultimate's damn near always up and so is his skill and then because of the fact that the skill actually lasts for a decent amount of time as well as it also doing damage i'm gonna say lucian is just overall a better healer the aoe team for the heal versus with nyan the character has to actually be standing in that circle for it to heal this is just he heals everything and then when you use this it's, it's a passive it's a passive buff right so it's staying there no matter which character you swap to so you're getting essentially two heals really one is like nyan's ultimate where you swap and then you have to hit you know to actually heal yourself and then the other one is just straight up heal Nyan does have a better full heal potential, uh, but Lucian is just more better utility. Yeah, I think that would be the word there, better utility. Uh, as you can see, my Sansar is still my go-to. She hits like a freaking truck. That is the queen there. I also have Xanthia. I'm using Xanthia to farm for my Sansar materials. 
Now this is another thing. As you can see, I have one character that is clearly leveled above the rest. The rest are 50. I found 50 to be the sweet spot where you can leave characters at. You don't really need to get them past 50. You probably don't even really need to get them past 40, honestly, if you're trying to be scarce with your materials and really have one of them juiced. This is definitely one of those games where you're going to have to pick your one character that you want to be juiced. You're going to want to focus all your match into that one character and juice them out. For me, that's my Sansa, that's my DPS. For some people, it might be Edward, for other people, it might be Auden, for some, it might be Zantia. I could definitely say Edward, Auden, Sansa, those are definitely some picks, some nice picks. But I think the consensus here and the joint majority have been agreeing with me and saying Sansa is that goat. And roll footage. So as you can see, Sansa is hitting us a truck and uh, yeah, hopefully that's here to stay. But uh, that supporter needs to be removed to uh, DPS. Yeah, please and thank you. Or even tank, since she can't. Well, I guess it does make sense that it says supporter since supporters scale off the HP sometimes. But then again, you have Marthal here. He's a damage amp. Supporters are weird. They're kind of just in their own category. They do whatever the heck they want. Now, continuing. Realistically, there's not even much else for me to really touch up on since these are just like a few other things that I just want to throw into a video as well as kind of doing in a, an account review here. So unless there's anything very specific that I'm being asked in the Discord or in my Discord or in the comment sections, I'm not really going to be typically doing too many updates. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I just make my guides and then I'll also just, you know, just do little walkthroughs or videos to help you guys clear things say if there's characters that i have that you also have that you, but you don't have sansar i'll make a video without me using the sansar and i'll show you how to clear with those other characters uh, i've done it before it does take a little longer because you know sansar is kind of hitting like a truck with them juicy 50 plus crits on that whole attack there but that's gonna wrap it up for me guys uh <laughs> be sure to like and follow. Get out of here.